Though humans have long looked to the stars, the history of human interest in alien life is relatively recent. The advent of radio technology helped inspire early interest in extraterrestrial life. Decades later, NASA would formalize the curiosity with the launch of the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute, or SETI. Here's a look back at how, throughout history, humans have looked for life in the final frontier. In 1899, famed inventor and physicist Nikola Tesla noticed rhythmic sounds on his lab's radio receiver and became convinced they were radio communications from Martians. 21 years later, radio inventor and Italian physicist Guglielmo Marconi told a journalist he believed his radios had been picking up extraterrestrial signals for years. 1924 was a landmark year for extraterrestrial research. David Todd, chairman of the astronomy department at Amherst College, succeeded in convincing the U.S. Army and Navy to monitor incoming transmissions for potential alien signals while Mars passed historically close to Earth. Unfortunately, the result was mostly static. The space age began in earnest in 1957 with the launch of the Russian satellite Sputnik. Two years later, Philip Morrison and Giuseppe Coccioni published Searching for Interstellar Communications in the journal Nature. The article inspired Frank Drake to begin using his radio telescope to search two nearby stars for extraterrestrial life, the first real SETI search. A year later, he developed the Drake Equation, which combined variables – stars, number of planets, environmental composition – to estimate the odds of finding intelligent life in the universe. That same year, future Nobel Prize winner Charles Townes and his colleague Robert Schwartz proposed using lasers to find extraterrestrial signals. In 1966, Carl Sagan and Josef Szklovsky wrote Intelligent Life in the Universe, which sparked even more curiosity about the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The same year Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon, then Georgia Governor Jimmy Carter claimed to have seen a flying saucer. He still became president. In 1977, the Ohio State Radio Observatory first detected what later became known as the WOW signal from the constellation Sagittarius, named for a scientist's excited note left on the readout of the signal. Later that year, the United States launched the Voyager 1 and 2 satellites, loaded with gold-plated records containing images and sounds of human life intended for an extraterrestrial audience. Ronald Reagan wondered aloud about extraterrestrial life during his 1987 speech to the United States General Assembly. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. The 1990s marked the end of NASA's SETI program, when Congress slashed its budget in 1993. But UC Berkeley developed SETI at home in 1999 a screensaver that enabled an idle home computer to analyze data collected by radio telescopes, which greatly increased astronomers' data processing abilities. Ten years after SETI hit home computers, the Allen Telescope Array began operating, thanks to funding from Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen to construct his namesake telescopes. In 2012, Voyager 1 made history when it passed beyond the reach of solar wind from our solar system and into interstellar space. Three years later, Louisiana State University astronomer Tabitha Boyajan noticed an object passing in front of a star 1,500 light years away, in a manner she said would be expected from a planet or alien megastructure. Well, there you have it. We're in a situation that could unfold to be a natural phenomenon we don't understand or an alien technology we don't understand. Personally, as a scientist, my money is on the natural explanation. But don't get me wrong, I do think it would be awesome to find aliens. That same year, the first observation of gravitational waves in a spectacular collision of two black holes offered a new source of data to measure in searching for and potentially communicating with extraterrestrial life. Breakthrough Listen takes the search for intelligent life in the universe to a completely new level. 2016 saw the launch of Breakthrough Listen, a $100 million, 10-year program dedicated to researching extraterrestrial life. While past research yielded a few dozen hours of telescope data per year, the new program will make thousands of hours of data available on a variety of instruments, a revolutionary development in SETI research. 
Signals from stars are often faint and far between, but that hasn't dimmed our interest in finding out if there are other beings out there in the cosmos, or for that matter, signs of life at all. But what once seemed like an uphill battle, years of work for glimpses at the possibility of extraterrestrial life, now benefits from stronger science and sharper technology. Even without concrete proof that we'll find what we're looking for, the search for extraterrestrial life persists. And if we keep listening, who knows what we might hear.